mistakes. Just checking in to see that you can see everything all right. Um, we're going to have a few followers in a minute and uh, yeah, we're going to kick off. So we're starting off with sweet pancakes that are healthy with the addition of chia and oats. All right, we have... I hope you can see me okay. Oh, hello. Hello. Is that Lucas? It is. Hello. Fantastic. Hey. Doing? Monkeys. Just getting ready here. Okay. Brilliant. I'm going to ask you to go horizontally if that's okay. Yep. No Fab. So we're doing two types of pancakes. We're doing sweet pancakes first and then savory after. And the reason we're doing it that way around is that if you're using the same pan, um, it's easier to put savoury stuff after sweet. That's my logic, at least. Nice pan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Fantastic. Have we got people cooking along with Lucas? Uh, unfortunately, we had someone who dropped out, so it's just me today. No worries. I think it's easier for us to communicate if it's just one-on-one -on -one anyway. Yeah, it makes a lot so, <laughs> The first thing we're going to do is melt our butter. Okay. Yeah. So, Let's get the butter. So, roughly two tablespoons of butter. Yeah. And if yours is, it actually does not need melting because I guess it's spreadable yeah. anyway. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Well, I'm one step ahead of you. I've got clean hands, apron on, and I've just melted my butter. Don't worry, Lucas did wash his hands. He did wash his hands, great. I'm, yeah, glad, I'm hands. glad that someone's checking on him. <laughs> you see that? Is that enough? Fantastic, yeah, that's great. <laughs> Lovely, jubbly. Yo, okay. Yeah. So we're going to then put in our chia seeds and maybe you want to melt the butter a tiny bit. Is that a metal? If it's a metal saucepan, you can probably put that right on the hob. Yeah, just melt that. Yeah, just melt that like that. Be careful with your hands, obviously. Yeah. So my mum a giant pack of chia seeds like this. And she's essentially been feeding us chia seeds from this giant jar for about oh, cool. six months now. <laughs> <laughs> but they're really versatile, so they're good for you. But yeah. they also add um, a thickening agent to certain things. So, for example, with pancakes, if you're not using eggs, which we're not today, you can use things like chia seeds to give it that extra kind of gluing together. Plus, mm -hmm. they're quite tasty and they're high in protein. The back of the jar here, it says it's the highest combined plant source of omega-3 fiber and protein. Crazy. <laughs> That's nice. Sorry, sorry, just a quick one. Am I melting all the butter? Say that once more. Am I just melting all the butter? Yeah, just melting it down, not too much, as in it's not, it doesn't matter if there's a few little bit of lumps, because we're going to be mixing it all in. Just, yeah, just, just let it um, heat up, bro. Yeah, let it heat up a tiny bit. Yeah. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of chia seeds. Now, I think... Is the chia seeds? Uh, you couldn't get chia seeds. because You couldn't get chia seeds. Out. So, what do we have, Lucas? So, we have... Um, an alternative would be flax seeds if you've got flax. Do we have that? No. <laughs> or if you have eggs handy, you could just use an egg. Yeah, I'll use an egg. Perfect. So the reason I'm using chia seeds is because I cooked in my mum's kitchen today and she does not, uh, she's a vegetarian that doesn't eat eggs. <laughs> so I was going to almost a vegan route. Just let it, let it melt. What was that, sorry? Butter. So we're now putting in two, well, I'm putting in two spoons of chia seeds. Right. And you guys are going to crack an egg in there. Yep. Great, so two tablespoons of chia seeds. And for me, this is going to glue up my mixture. For you guys, it's not so much yet, but once you cook, the egg will act as a binding agent. So I'm just stirring in the chia to the butter. Yeah. And now I'm going to put in my cup of oats. So I've got a big jar here, but I've got a Ooh. cup. So I'm I'm cup, in a cup of oats. We got that. <laughs> Stir all that in. Keep stirring nicely. And I have some Greek style yogurt, about a cup of that as well. Cool. We got some of that. A cup of yogurt. Greek style Greek yogurt. Style, if you have. So Greek style yogurt is yeah. basically higher in fat, it's a bit tastier, it's also higher in protein. Nice. And I guess you guys are using Alpro, so it's going to be maybe not as fatty, but it will be 
good for you in terms of other things like protein. Just to double check, one cup of yogurt. Yes. Yeah, one cup of yogurt, and then finally, a cup of flour, and then we're going to add the sweetener. So a cup of self-raising flour. Yeah? Yes, please. Self-raising flour. Cool. Cool. We put that just over here. And it might be a bit sort of thick, but I'll give you an idea of what texture we're going for in a moment. Cool. So I've got self-raising flour. Cool. Ideally, we'd use brown. Lovely, lovely. We have it. You use what? Sorry, it's a bit hard feeling right now. If you have brown flour, we'd say always go with that because it's got higher fiber. Mm, okay. The more healthier, the more better. Exactly. Cool. Now, yeah. mine is going to need some water because my yogurt is quite thick. So I'm going to add for me about half a cup of water. I think for you guys, because you've got the egg in there, it might be a little bit less. So start with a third of a cup. Cool, a third of a cup of water after. Yeah, just a cup of flour. Another cup of flour. Yeah. So, so far we've got oats in there, which are really good for yep. all sorts of health benefits and they're more filling as well. Oats are really great for fiber. Mm-hmm. Do you like oats? I like oats in sort of, in like a cookie, like a Coke. Uh, yeah, that's uh, oats and with honey, with honey. <laughs> goat, so with honey, honey, granola I like as well, Ooh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, and now we're going to add our sweetener. And I'm using um, which is a fruit syrup, which is kind of a blend of agave and other syrups. Got you guys honey. could use honey, you yeah, could use nice. nuts, maple syrup, whatever you've got, really. And we just need a... Just about a half a cup, not even half a cup, a quarter cup of water. Cool. And then stir that in with our honey as well. Would you say about a teaspoon of honey? Uh, Put in a tablespoon. Actually, two tablespoons. <laughs> okay. Two tablespoons. Two right. tablespoons, depending on how sweet your sweet tooth is. But we are going to add fruit to the topping, so you may Ooh. not need too much. Nice, nice, nice. Now, I know we used self-raising flour, but sometimes flour can be a bit unpredictable. So I always add a little bit of baking powder just to be sure. Okay. So, so you've got that. A little bit of baking powder, I'd say about a teaspoon, maybe a little less. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right, so you should have a fairly... I think like, that's good. Runny mixture. Does it look like a pancake mixture to you? Um, lumpy, lumpy. Yeah, lumpy. I mean, I think, should we put a little bit more water? What do you think? So, I would say, looking at your mixture, I'd put a little bit more water, yeah? Yeah. Um, maybe half a cup. Did you put in a whole cup of um, yoghurt? Yes, we did. Okay. So, because I think your yoghurt is possibly thicker because it's a soy-based yoghurt. Yeah. I'm quite a runny Greek yogurt, so that's so how runny is yours. Let me have a look at yours. So it's a bit runnyish. Okay, so mine is like this. Can you see? Mm. Okay, yeah, I see that. All right. Almost like a porridge consistency, actually. Mm. There we go. That should do it. Lovely. Now lovely. we're going to let this sit for five minutes while we chop up up fruit. Do you guys have any fruit that you're going to use? Um, let me check the fridge. Cool. <laughs> I found a mango. An Indian um, household always has a mango or two hanging around. So I'm going to... I've, I've already washed this. I'm going to now chop it up and see what it's like on the inside. Sometimes it's a gamble because obviously it's off-season for mangoes now. We've got peach. we got some peach. we got peach, one peach. Fantastic. So this is for your topping. So make sure it's ripe peach. Does that look right to you? I mean, yeah, yeah, it looks It looks right. It looks very right. That's been a... Which peach and pear work. Oh, that sounds great. Now, yeah, the pear, yeah. if it's a bit crunchy, it might need poaching, but if it's soft, then that'll be perfect. I'll let it boil in water for a minute. Okay. What? Yeah, so let's just leave that and I'll just cup our peach and let's boil our pear. All right, so my peach, my, uh, not I'm saying peach, my mango looks actually perfect and I may not need the whole mango because I'm just going to decorate maybe one or two pancakes while we're making them together. So I'm going to chop it up into fairly small pieces. Remember we're doing our sharp knife tunnel and bridge technique. And yeah, yes, yes, I remember. Good job. 
cooking with you guys are so easy. You know everything. It's fantastic. <laughs> I think we're just fast learners. And I also gave the option of a topping of Nutella. Now, I have some really posh chocolate spread that someone gave me a while ago. Yep. It's called Utmost Dark Chocolate Spread. So it's that a looks bit so like fancy. A, a bit like a fancy Nutella, but without the nuts. It's just chocolate, but it is very yummy. So I've got a little bit of that. Cool. I'm put that on my pancake, along with the... We have fake nut chocolate spread. Yeah, fake Ooh, Nutella. Good too. And that's optional, really. If you're trying to be healthy, you might just want to stick to the fruit. But yeah. if you're thinking it comes a little bit more fancy... Yeah. Some of that chocolate spread. Okay. We've got loads of followers at the moment. And whilst I'm just chopping up the second piece of mango, let me just remind everyone that if you want to know a bit more about Soapbox, um, they're a tech specialist organization for young people. Based yep. in and you can go onto their Instagram or send a direct message, or you can go to their website, which is Soapbox is Linton. If you guys have any questions, helpful. And I know you guys are here representing Eat Club, but I might just say a word about Eat Club whilst you're doing your fruity bits. Um, Eat Club is a London-based youth charity, and we teach young people to cook, um, whether you want to be a chef or a, a restaurateur or a YouTuber, you can come and learn how to cook, learn about healthy eating, different kind of chef skills, and lovely. eat together with a really lovely community feel. Lovely, lovely. That's Eat Club. And you guys are <laughs> box. And we're about to make gorgeous pancakes. Now, I've got quite a little frying pan here. But this one we, is pancakes. If you yeah. want one, that's good too. Lucas, what are you doing? I'm just making these bits. Are you? I thought we were just poaching the pear. Yeah, I'm are you poaching the pear? I, yeah. think we're, I think we're poaching both of them. Very fancy. <laughs> well, I don't know if you've got an extra pair of hands to maybe think about putting a frying pan onto a medium heat. Yeah, we can do that. That's yeah, fine. we are. Let's take it over. So now I'm... Open. Which, which should I do? You want to do this, don't you? Should I heat up the... Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of butter just to grease the bottom of that pan, but you won't need too much because we've got enough fat in our pancakes. Just enough to make it a little bit... It's a tiny bit moist. So we're going to put some butter in. Okay. I've saved this a little now. So now we've let our pancake mixture rest for about five minutes. That helps the oats soften. It helps kind of glue up a tiny bit. Um, mm -hmm. I make that sound like a bad thing, the glue up. But honestly, they're delicious chia seeds. And you can add them as crunchy toppings on biscuits, on porridge, on anything really, even salad, if you want like a crunch in your salad. There was a phase in the 80s when people used to grow chia seed pets. So you'd get these kind of ceramic pots that are a for different animals. They'd end up looking like those trolls. So that's another little fact about chia, is that it's multifunctional. You can use it to decorate your home as well. <laughs> so we're going to get to make about five or six pancakes, but we'll start with just one or two. I'm, like I said, I admit I'm in my mom's home, so she's got all these great noodles. I think you should just make, look at this big pan. You might as well make a massive pan. What do you say? Funny? Hello. Are you going to... If, you, if you've been a bit closer, I can... So, that looks great, yeah. We've got a massive pan, so we're thinking of making a, a massive pancake. I would say with the first one, just cook by itself, and then you can taste it adjust something. So just do one first, and then you can do maybe three or four at a time. So you guys are using a cup. I'm going to use a ladle, squish in, almost like an American pancake, round kind of. I like it. Should we like spread it out? No, no. Like, it like that. Put that back on the hob. Now, if you just speed it up, you could add like a random lid and I've got a lid for a big pot here you don't necessarily need 
too, but it does make, especially with that first one, you want to hurry up and taste it and see if it, you know, the, the proportions are right, for example. Then you can put a lid around it, essentially. So I'm just going to put this lid on top like that. Give it a moment. How's your fruit looking? Did you poach both the pear and the peach? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Looking... All right, you know. So, have you got a spatula that you're going to use? I've got a wooden spatula. Yeah. Should we use that? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah, let's use that. There you go. Uh, not really, not really. So I've got and I've also got like a almost like a, a icing spreader thing here. I've got a couple of different gadgets I'm going to try and flip my pancake with. If you're feeling very fancy, you can sort of flip it into the air, but these are a bit fat for that. Alrighty, I have some bubbles for me. Do you guys have any bubbles on the top of your pancakes? Ooh, look at those fruits. Lovely fruits. Have you guys got any bubbles? Um, yeah, we've got bubbles on the sides. Kind of bit. Not really. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> shape. It is cakey shape, yeah. Not yet. Mine's um, not ready to be flipped yet, but I can feel it's like getting thicker. Yeah, totally. Just let it cook. And what you might also do is if you're poaching your pears and your peach, you might want to throw your Nutella in and melt it to make a little syrup. Sorry? So you can melt your Nutella along with your fruit to make it a syrup if you want, because otherwise it'll be Ooh. a little bit. Let's do that. So you're saying... Melt the Nutella with the fruits. I'll take, right, okay, so I just took a peek at the bottom. Oh, you really like that. It is beautifully brown. So I'm going to this now. Let's see if it will hold. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. Oh, that looks so We're nice. We're going for you guys. Lovely. Yeah? That looks really nice. Okay. Yeah. I want to cooking. You know, the first one is you it... should throw out the first pancake. And I think that's the truth for our savory. The first pancake is always a try. <laughs> It's never yeah. been perfect. I think I got lucky with mine there. It worked really nicely. Hopefully it tastes as good. So just yes, for the people who are like. now, we're doing sweet pancakes and we're doing savory pancakes at the past. Sweet ones first. Nice, nice, nice. Do you guys ever have um, upside down day where you have breakfast for dinner? Um, dinner for breakfast. If I, don't. I mean, if I, if I don't. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. I'm, I'm liking that, Lucas. Look at that, you guys. Yeah. So actually, yours, your pancakes might hold together a bit better than mine because you've got the egg in there, and I've only got yeah. chia. And like I said, I'm gonna throw throw in a little bit of this chocolate spread as well as my fruit but my chocolate spread is quite solid so I might melt mine Smelling so good. and I wanted to throw mm. your Nutella in as well so I'm just gonna so put a tiny bit like that onto Nutella. the Nutella and then give it a shake in the microwave it for just delicious like, look at that it's gonna look way better than mine <laughs> I think my pancake is ready to come off the hob. Checking the underside. The underside looks good. All right. Lovely. And because I was jealous of yours, I've just melted my chocolate Ooh. into my mango. Give that a little bit of a stir. So I've got mango pieces with yeah. some warmed up chocolate spread. That's looking really good. And that is going to go on top of this very beautiful pancake that we just made. Cool. So, I yeah, mean, chocolate makes everything well, there, better, am I right? We're ahead of you now. Yeah. But here's that cake. Our one looks beautiful. Thick. And then we're going to tip on some of that beautiful fruit. Look at that. Fit for a king. 
Yes, yes, yes. Lovely. Good job, guys. All right. So now I'm going to sign off from the Soapbox account, and I'm going to sign yep. in as Eat Club. Anyone else who's watching okay. wants to join us, please make sure you're following along again, either on Soapbox or Eat Club. Um, I'm going to see you guys at half past. Right? Cool. We see you there. Fantastic. Lovely. How do you feel that? Half past. Enjoy your sweet taste? handshake. It's gorgeous, right? <laughs> see you soon, guys. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>